Cancer, welcome to your Astro Reels. It's my pleasure to read for you, as you know. Also, you know that you don't, you don't actually have to have any specific Cancerian placements for this message to be for you, and you don't have to be watching at the time that it's being published for it to be for you. If it resonates, then chances are there's something here for you. And if it doesn't, that's totally fine. Grab your popcorn, you can still come and listen. And of course, you can step away, wait a little bit, and then come back and see if anything is starting to make sense to you as the energies may just have needed some time to unfold into the physical. Um, what else? Oh, if you'd like to work personally with me, you know exactly where to find me. You can find my Etsy link somewhere on the page that you're watching. All right, so let's jump right in, Cancer. Yay! Yay! So I haven't done the September um, 2023 reading as yet, and that's okay. I'm just still waiting for some energies that came in for me to complete their integration process. Um, uh, but that being said, let me actually, hmm, thinking, do I need, anyway, uh, do I, hold on one second, guys. <laughs> I keep acting like I don't need my glasses. Here we go. Okay. <laughs> So, all right, <laughs> it's actually pretty high up. All right, so past life activation, but what I'm getting here is the throat chakra coming through. And as you can hear, my throat is like, uh, maybe you can't hear it, but I can feel it. The throat chakra is going to be illuminated at this time for whoever it is that is watching this, if it's for you, and you're being advised to watch your expression. So as you guys may remember, when we talk about expression, we're talking about energetic output from the energy field. And you know that is the realm of the throat chakra because, and the, and the throat chakra, it covers your ear, nose, throat, just like our doctors today, ENTs, right? Ear, nose, throat doctors. Um, so it, it, governs the realm of like uh, clairaudience and telepathy, things like that. But also there's it, it's not, I'm, it, I'm just, my conscious mind is fighting myself, <laughs> fighting itself. What I'm getting to channel to say it's, a, it's the seat of your consciousness. But my conscious mind is like, but there are other places that were referred to as the seat of your consciousness. So I'm just gonna give my conscious mind a cute little hug. Bing. That's a hug and I'm going to place it to the side a little bit so that you guys get the messages as they're coming through. They're being said in a certain way for a certain reason. So um, what I'm seeing here is through your cosmic gateway, that is the throat chakra. It's almost like we're seeing through here, whoop, going in and then look, there's another doorway somewhere else. So you have to understand that it's very, very important to take care of this this space. On top of that, it's also important because we know that what you put out, you get back. And technically, you're only always going to get back what you've kind of put out there already because the outside world, the world outside of you, is a reflection of what is going on inside of you. The thing is that a lot of people can't really see that and, and aren't really in the space, understandably, to accept that because they haven't really seen their full self. They're only consciously aware of their human self. And so it's always important to remember that we have to be mindful about what it is that we're putting out there and how we are expressing ourselves because words are meaningless. It's always the energy underneath it. So if you if you hold yourself only responsible for the words, then you're probably only going to get part of that story there. Um, because maybe from a spiritual perspective, you're actually being held responsible for more than just your words and more than just how other people took it. So we've already kind of spoken extensively about this idea about your your actions and your words are no longer enough. You have to start um, you have to start being responsible for the energies that you're putting out there, right? Because it's not the, the, the action and the words itself that is going to be looked at by you at a higher level but and judged by you at, at a higher level, but it's, it's the heart that motivated it. Wow, okay, that was interesting. Anytime something flies towards my card, I know. <laughs> I don't know what this card is, but um, somebody, at least one person, is being called to work with me so you know where to find me oh my god four minutes 44 seconds oh yeah <laughs> so you know where to find me and you know if it's you I guess you'll get the cute little tap on the shoulder but that was very clear let me see what that's about somebody um, uh, 
at least who there there could be up to three people I'm getting but I'm getting sh a shoe for somebody here so maybe there's some type of attention to your shoe or your fit the fit of your shoe is they're saying so that that's something to kind of help somebody identify themselves but again if it's duh it's not everyone not everyone's gonna have that example for another person they're showing the belly button so a belly button, something about the belly button or belly button area, cute, boop. <laughs> I just booped your belly button, don't ask. But anyway, um, <laughs> you're another one, anything else? I'm getting a blender. So for somebody, a blender, you know, you know, like that's what a blender sounds like. It may be for you as well. Is there anything else? They see they're like drawing a line here for a second. So maybe let's start with those three is what I'm getting. And yeah, okay interesting that's what it is so ha, no wonder it's only three in particular but again if you you know if you feel like well i still want to work with jay ba jay bear you could you know exactly where to find me you don't have to have those three people those be those three people but what i'm seeing here we have the key of light in the reverse Boink, right and then we have the cosmic christ cosmic heart always remember that we we have a christ here but this is not a religious designation on this channel we do respect religions but we understand that they are very filtered down through mankind and you know on this channel how we already talk about the impairment <laughs> that we have in our everyday lives because of our our perceptions that are not healed so you can understand how through the centuries things get a little skewed anyway my point is this is looking at the template in particular if this if you are these people or um, you feel called to work with me at this time then you need some assistance um, in unlocking something that is needed for your crystal there's something about a crystal body that's coming online for you so uh, it's an upgrade it's a it's a restructuring of one of your templates here and you're being crystallized in a sense okay seven minutes seven seconds okay and um, that's a beautiful thing so come see me um, if that you feel like that's for you I'm also getting some mermaidian energies here so again if you if you haven't done the Lemurian healing, um, and I'm sorry, I said Lemurian healing in the video, one of the videos where the guides asked you guys to do a Lemurian healing, but then I linked the Lemurian uh, backstory from Diana Cooper, which is good. Still listen to it and watch it, because obviously when you listen to that, and you, it's also performing energetic healings for you as well. Uh, but she also has... Uh, a video called Lemurian healing it's about nine minutes or so and it's an actual energetic download to assist you with that healing and that came through from the guides that uh, some of you have to have that uh, from your time spent in the Lemurian civilization or at least to use the technology the energetic tech that they have now to assist you you can find the link to both of those videos in my link tree now and you can find that link in my bio okay on Instagram uh, yes, I don't believe if you're on YouTube, I don't believe I have a link to my link tree there. So but I do have a link to my Instagram. So head over to my Instagram and in my bio, you'll find one link because they only let us put one link and boop, you press it and you'll see Lemurian healing and you'll also see the Lemurian information by Diana Cooper. So yes, go ahead and do that. So come see me. But for the rest of us here, God bless. For the, it's interesting because, all right, well, whoever, okay, well, here we go. It's interesting because what I'm seeing is there are those who, everybody's upgrading. Everybody's always upgrading because this is what we're here for. But um, just like maybe somebody may be in undergrad and then someone else is already in their postdoc or something like this, there are different levels of what is available to a person at that time now the whys and the wherefores have nothing to do with us it has nothing to do with good bad up down better worse blah 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 because you know homie don't play that in the spirit world that's a human thing but that is just what I want to let you know those of you who are moving up into what we would call the Christ consciousness state um, there's also the Buddha nature energy moment as well and also uh, the I am presence I'm seeing here that during these kinds of stages there is the establishment of a more crystalline structure within and I feel that that's for 
very, just a few people, right? That being said, I'm seeing that a lot of others are basking in the energy that is being generated from this movement. So you have to understand that what one does affects all of us. So it's just like a football team. It's not like, oh, you know, a lot of people down here, we look at football, well, I don't look at football, but we look at football and we're like, oh, the quarterback is the star. Okay, but everybody is playing a role that is so needed. It's like orchestra. Yeah, we have first chair, violin, but what about all the other parts that are literally needed to create the symphony? Do you understand what I'm saying? So this is what I'm seeing here, that uh, whoever of you are rising into this crystalline uh, structure or this designation here, look at how large of a presence you're becoming. You're stepping into the I am oneness, right? And look at here are the crystals, and then here is everybody else basking in this energy, right? So while you're up here, they can take care of them, some things on the ground or say, take care of things there. But for those of you who will be stepping into this I am presence, please understand that it's not that you, boop, bye, everybody. It's not that at all. This is not a call at 11 minutes, 11 seconds for spiritual significance or spiritual ambition, this idea that I'm better than other people and I have to do this and I have to... No, this is not that at all. This is about understanding that there were certain agreements that you agreed to before you came onto this planet and well, here you are able to do it. And so this is the next wave they're saying in your personal evolution. But after that, what happens is that you then, of course, you get to experience this oneness and you, you know, I'll let you experience that in your own unique way, 11 minutes, 44 seconds. But your job then is to ground yourself. And in fact, I would argue to ground yourself along the way, but to ground yourself and to consider purpose. Yeah, what, okay, I've seen this, I've understood this, I've, you know, what's the point? And that's when you have to understand your point is that's up to you. But I would suggest, <laughs> like I'm not trying to tell you what to do, but I would suggest that you use it to assist, right? And this is not about proselytizing. It's not about evangelizing. It's not about that. This is about understanding that when I win, everybody wins. In my state of oneness, I am able to travel up my consciousness to different dimensions and to experience and experience here as well. But as I experience these higher perspectives, I'm able to receive information. And since I'm here still in the physical body, I can bring that information back down, ground it, and without attachment, use it to assist the planet. Now, how you want to do that is up to you. You can be an artist. You could be a doodler. You can sew things and sell them and give them away or whatever. You can become a teacher in, in you know, philosophy or I don't know, whatever you want to do. You can be a plumber who, who, who blesses the lives of his clients. And, you know, it's up to you because at this point, it's about the energy field. Your energy field is what is giving love, right? You've now become more of a pure channel than before and you move in a state of love. Does it mean that you're done learning? No. <laughs> As I said, no is like 13 minutes, 31 seconds. But it does mean that you understand more about your place in creation. And as we talked about on the channel in one of the posts, it is your Buddha nature. It is in your nature to be of assistance to the world. Why? Because when your energy is clear and all of us are clear and we're in our natural state, which is not in physical, because the physical is really like lowering of the energies and all of that. But in our natural state, we are love and love is flowing. It's giving, it's receiving, it's giving, it's receiving, right? And so when you are healed and you're healthy and you don't have these things pulling on your consciousness and the conditioning and all of that, you naturally have a heart that cares and so you want to assist and also remember that the the buddha nature in in the christed template non-religious is a whole template it's oneness it's wholeness and so that's why when we do our healing and we we reintegrate our different parts of ourselves what we're doing is we're pulling together as a whole and fractally speaking so is humanity pulling together one person at a time to come back to this wholeness anyway um 
I'm going to go. So this is short enough to get on Instagram, but God bless you guys. Mwah.